All right, good day, Goldarians. Uh, Chef Pete here. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how to sharpen your knife, okay? Whenever you're working in your station, you know, no matter what knife you pull out, pull out your knife to use, always pull out your steel. If I come through the kitchen, I see your knife out, I need to see your steel out, that tells me you're taking care of your knife. Every time you go to use your knife, you need to hone it, put the edge back on there. So what we're going to do first of all, so I'm going to show you how to sharpen your knife. 20 degree angle, okay? What you're going to do is with the dry stone, we're using the dry stone here, we have the dry stone or the wet stone. I'm going to show you how to sharpen your knives on the dry stone. First of all, you're going to take your knife, 20 degree angle, Heel of the knife on the uh, stone. If you're right handed, grab the knife with your right hand, left hand, put your fingers right at the top up here of your knife, and drag your knife 20 degree angle all the way down. While you're dragging it down, you want to apply the pressure where the stone is. So I'm going to drag it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this 10 times in this direction. Once I do it 10 times in that direction, I'm going to turn the, the knife over. I came this way. I'm just going to turn the knife over like that and go back the opposite way. Okay? Once I do it 10 times on the core stone, I'm going to turn it. Do the same thing on the medium. I'm going to do 10 times. Now remember, it's not a race. Take your time. As you get better, you can build up your speed. But for now, just focus and concentrate. Ten times that way. Turn it. Just gently turn your knife and go back the opposite way. See how my fingers are right where that stone is. That's where you want to apply the pressure. Make sure you go from the tip all the way to the, the heel, to the butt of the uh, knife. Once you do ten times on the medium, turn it. To the smooth stone and do the same thing ten times and then you turn it and do it ten times that way make sure you go the whole length of the knife a lot of times when I see students start out like this they start out and they only go about halfway or they don't start all the way at the top if you do that you're going to get an inconsistent edge on your knife so you want to make sure you go from the point all the way to the back 10 times. When you're finished, you want to take your steel, holding your steel straight across your chest, okay? A little bit out from your chest. Grip your knife, have a good grip on your knife. Hold the steel in front of you, 20 degree angle. Come straight down one side and straight down the other side. Straight down, nice in front of you. Come down on the other side. Now the steel is in front of me. Just go back and forth. About 10 times like that is fine. If you're having challenges trying to get that 20 degree angle, if you look at your, your knife, the knife is setting up like this 90 degrees. What's half 90? 45. Let's have 45. About 22 or so. That's pretty darn close. So that's a 20 degree angle you want. So to find that 20 degree angle, 90, 45, about 22. That gives you the proper angle, 20 degree angle. Are you going to get exactly 20 degree angle? No. Some, some people are perfect, some aren't. I know I'm not perfect. So I get pretty darn close to a 20 degree angle. When you go to sharpen your knives, do not let anybody else sharpen your knives. When you're sharpening your knives on the stone or on the steel, you're going to get pretty darn close to a 20 degree angle. But if you give somebody else your knives to sharpen, their 20 degree angle is going to be totally off. So what's going to happen is if someone takes your knives to try to sharpen them, you're going to actually end up dulling the knives before they get, get sharp. 
and there's all kinds of gizmos out there, handheld things to put it through uh, to get a perfect edge on there. Will those get the perfect edge on there? Absolutely, they'll get a perfect edge on there. If you use a, a sharpening stone, put it through a machine, electric, electronic machine, will you get a perfect 20 degree angle? Absolutely, you get a 20 degree angle. It'll be perfect. But what happens when you take that off that sharpening stone, this perfect 20 degree angle, and you go to put it on your steel? Are you going to get a perfect 20 degree angle? No. What you're going to end up doing is dulling your knife after you put it through that sharpening stone. So I highly suggest learn how to do this. Okay? This is available in the kitchen. Whenever you want to come in here, by all means, ask me or one of the other chefs and they'll pull down and they can sharpen your knives. So whenever you want to work on a project, always sharpen your knives. If you put your knives on the stone, probably two, three times a year, that's good enough, uh, depending on your usage. For me, I put all my stone, all my knives on the stone at the beginning of semester, and then I do it again the following semester. So every six months, I put them on the stone. What I do is during class, you'll see me, I'll take out my knife and I'll hone it. And as long as you keep doing this, every time you're going to use your knife, you'll have that nice sharp edge. A so dull knife is when you cut yourself. A sharp knife, go right through the product and you won't cut yourself. Okay? That's sharpening your knife, keep your knife safe 